The Plasma Science and Technology Institute at UCLA is an umbrella organization that gathers together a number of researchers. So over seven departments at UCLA, over 100 PhD uh, scientists that study plasma science and technology from applied settings such as use, uh, for fusion energy application uh, to understanding the space environment, sending satellites out into space to make measurements to making use of plasmas for technological applications such as semiconductor production. The PSTI includes some of the largest experimental facilities in the world, in, in particular the Basic Plasma Science Facility includes some devices that are largest of their kind in the world for studying fundamental plasma physics. So we do experiments and we build machines. This is one of the machines we built. It's called a large plasma device, obviously it's large. So inside the machine, there's no air. It's about a billionth of atmosphere. We inject the gas, and then using electron beams, we tear the gas up and heat it to temperature of about a quarter of a million degrees. And you can see through the windows every now and then a flash. That's the plasma. This experiment is studying something called magnetic ropes. The whole sun is completely littered, the surface of the sun. And they actually extend out from the sun far enough away but they sometimes get all the way to the Earth. So it's a sort of solar physics related experiment. Other experiments we do is when there is a large input of energy from the sun, you can get really high energy particles trapped in the Earth's radiation belts. So I'm trying to get an artificial way to control the Earth's radiation belt. Now every day our life relies on space satellites so much, but they go in and out of their radiation belt and they could be seriously damaged by all the charged particles trapped in the Earth's radiation belt. And so far we haven't had a very effective way to artificially control these charged particles. I'm trying to come up with a way uh, to solve this problem. This is one of the uh, last remaining labs, there's only a few in the nation where the grad students actually take over the whole machine. They can build their own probes, put the probes in the plasma, make their own measurements. They can determine in, in large measure what their thesis is going to be. There's a lot of freedom here for a graduate student. We have very large machines that are very versatile. You can do almost any plasma physics experiment that you can think of. And so as a graduate student, I have a lot of freedom to come up with my own ideas and test them out. Grad students, by the time they graduate, not only are they good plasma physicists, but they can go out and build machines if they have to. And you can see close to the X-line, you can see a counter streaming signature of oxygen distribution. I teach both undergraduate classes and graduate classes. Why are you using a basic plasma code? The Space Plasma Simulation Group, we study basic plasma physics problems, such as the connection, wave-particle interactions, and turbulence. And we use computer codes, which uses the basic equation, the most fundamental laws of physics, to simulate the plasmas and understand their behavior. We are part of an interdisciplinary team for the new NASA mission, Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, or MMS. And on this mission, we have the most advanced equipment and that to, to make the most advanced measurement. So combining this together with our simulations, uh, the result will be, we hope, that we'll gain a better understanding of reconnection processes and move a step further in our understanding. So this is the drive beam making the wake. This is the trailing beam being accelerated by the wake. Here within the uh, UCLA Plasma Simulation Group within the Department of Physics and Astronomy and Electrical Engineering, we use uh, the particle and cell method to study high energy density science issues that are both uh, basic in nature, which attracts uh, talented graduate students, and are tied to national uh, initiatives. So fusion research uh, is, uh, is one of the most promising ways to provide electricity for generations to come uh, without many of the bad sides that uh, other uh, things like nuclear energy has. One of the key open physics problems in this context is to understand to predict and control the turbulent transport of plasmas outside of um, magnetic confinement devices. And the goal of my research is to better understand via simulations and theoretical considerations 
uh, the basic physical mechanisms and then make actual predictions which guide experiments. UCLA is a remarkable place and I can speak to it from the unique perspective I actually went to graduate school here. That the breadth of both the research being done and the departments being covered is unprecedented. Students are integrated heavily into all of the programs um, and have done well. The alumni from the UCLA program are leaders in the, in the field of plasma physics and beyond.